What is going down, wizards? Sorry, I was in a bad way yesterday. I don't know if it's the heat or the getting up early or just the moving around all day and stuff, but I was shattered yesterday, shattered. Like, just no energy, absolutely drained. So, we're up early, it's 7 a.m., earlier than I'd like to get up, but I have a trick to my trade today. I'm gonna show you how I get through the day. We're gonna have a shower now, I'm gonna eat some bananas. Get this show on the fucking road, what? Look at that for a view. Look at that for a seven o'clock in the morning view. Beats waking up in smelly Kushlan or Kala, doesn't it? No disrespect to Kushlan, I have a lot of friends in Kushlan. I take that back, smelly Ballymun. Because I've no mates from Ballymun and fuck Ballymun. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Slight problem. I'm using the washing machine so now the shower doesn't walk and now the floor is flooded. Oh, it is walking. Lovely, I can have a shower. Right, I'm gonna cut that. Let's go back to action. Right, we're out, we're active. We need to get something to eat. Uh, it's a lot cheaper to eat out here than it is to actually cook because uh, by the time you pay for all the stuff, you use electricity, you use gas, and then have to clean up. I'm not being rude or anything, I don't have time for that. It's much cheaper to actually eat out on the street or else eat in a restaurant. So that's what we're going to go do. I'll show you where I'm going now, yeah? And when I said I'll show you where I'm going, that 100% means I have absolutely no idea where I'm going. But I'll find somewhere I always do. Like I said, I live in a decent enough area. There's fucking shit everywhere. Here's some of this beautiful Cambodian traffic. Hard to get across the road. Oh, there's one of my mates that collects all the stuff. He's actually all right, he is. Don't know him by name. We're not on a formal basis yet, you know what I mean? I don't bite his ear. I give him a kiss on the neck or anything, but I say, what's the crack? You're all right, bro. Um, but yeah. So I'm gonna go this way. I'm after finding a lovely little spot right near me parish. It's beautiful it is called the golden pumpkin and I'm gonna get myself well I'll show you what I'm gonna get myself now in a minute so like that yeah now breakfast is very very important to me I can't function without breakfast there's some freaks out there that that can eat not first thing in the morning not me back home I smashed smoothies out of it a lot but here nah man you need your omelettes and rice chicken and rice even rice porridge soup looks a bit like prison grill but it tastes good uh, I smash bananas out of them in the morning and water and then I will go and then eat something else maybe an hour after that. Uh, especially here when you're training flat out, you need to be getting the rice into you. Uh, some days I don't get enough carbs in and I get tired so end of story, you have to be smashing the rice out of it. I think I've eaten, probably eaten western food twice since I'm here. I've had a burger once and I've had a pizza twice. So three times I've eaten Western food. I try to eat as uh, I try to eat as uh, much of a local as I can. But here, look, I'm wasting your time chatting shit. I'll show you my food when I get here, yeah? And because I'm a bit greedy, I'll probably drink this quick, but that's just black coffee with ice, no sugar. I'm trying to stay away from the, the sugary drinks. I'm knocking the, trying to knock the Red Bulls and the Stings on the head. There's some dude direct in traffic, what a legend. Then I've got, this here, uh, yeah, which I said basically just black coffee and ice. Probably doesn't sound nice to an outsider, but here it's life. And I got a free bottle of water as well. And the gentleman I was was walking outside to have a cigarette, but the gentleman went and gave me an ashtray. So you you can smoke everywhere here, just as a rule, if uh, it looks nice, I won't just spark up, you know what I mean? If it's got holes in the ceiling and stuff leaking everywhere, I just smoke wherever the fuck I want. But this is a decent establishment and a good price. I think a coffee, um, water, and an omelette will come to like four bucks. You know what I mean? Like, you really can't argue with that. I don't even think I'd get a, I wouldn't even get someone to spit on me at home for four bucks. You know what I mean? So, A1 for me, Sheridan, you know. And I was thinking of doing some videos, you know, where. Uh, how much does $10 get you in a day? 
Actually, I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't me that said to do that, it was Scruffy Munley that said he done that, so check him out on YouTube. But, uh, basically, yeah, uh, I'm thinking of doing those sort of videos, how much does a dollar get you, how much does five dollars get you. It's not really my fucking style, but I need to get the viewers in so I can get my thousand subscribers so you can watch me fight live in the stadium, so. Please, please, please make sure to like, share and subscribe. I don't ask this for nothing. I don't want a penny off any of I just need a subscription. That's all I need for my YouTube channel. Bad man. I was so hungry. I ate my omelette and little vegetables and toast without even a uh, video on it. Sorry boys and girls and anyone in between. Oh yeah, I'll make it up to you. I'm gonna go eat another meal shortly because I'm, uh, I need to get those calories into me. And I need a cameraman, or woman, or person, whatever you want to say. But I need a camera person. Somebody get on a flight here and give me a fucking hand, will you? I can only record so much, because there's a lot going on here. And anybody that knows, the Shadow Boxer, check him out on YouTube, he's the man. Uh, I done some camera work for him when we lived in Thailand, and I understand exactly what he means now about needing a cameraman. You, you need one, it's hard to get the footage without them. I'm self-made, I do everything myself here. So if anyone's interested, hit me up. I'll give you a place to live and I'll show you something, that, I'll show you the real world. The real nitty gritty world. And I ran into me mate while I was out on me travels, yo! <laughs> good, good! Yeah, it's me little buddy. Yeah. What happened? Ah. What happened? Oh, oh. ripped! Oh. Too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is me buddy, he's a good man he is, he's a good man, he's a good man. We're en route to, uh, I need to get some stuff for the kitty cat. Oh shit, oh, I nearly got a wrap of a car. Oh, and I nearly got a wrap of a bike as well. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at that for a view. Look at that for pure and utter fucking beauty. Absolutely amazing. And those buildings aren't bad either. We're going training now shortly down a Cambodia top team. The best, oh fuck, crack me foot. Jesus, good thing that's not me kicking foot. I could have been out of business for six months. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go wreck the place. Gonna go wreck the place. So uh, yeah, life is good, baby. Life is good. If you need something to motivate you, look at that sky right before training. Look at that. Oh my days. Absolutely beautiful. We're on route to Cambodia, top team. Let's go do this. We always get here about 20 minutes early to warm up light on my own. Well, there's a few people here, but mostly just on my own to, uh, when you're an old man like me, you need that extra bit, you know what I mean? That's how we do it. That is how we do it. How was your fucking Tuesday? Mine was hard, man. Mine was hard. Piss and sweat. Feeling good. Sick. Absolutely sick. I've nothing else to say. Doing the Lord's walk in the devil's playground, as everybody knows. Let's go get absolutely smashed up. That was some fucking session, man. An hour and a half non stop. We don't give a fuck. That's how we roll. And I fucking 
because I only went four days last week and I missed Friday, I ended up getting fucking, ended up getting a few wraps off me coach and then made do fucking 200 roundhouse kicks at the end. My fucking hip is in bits. Well, not in bits, but you know what I mean? So, no more missing training or else you end up getting the wraps. So let that be a lesson to everyone else out there. Play silly games, win silly prizes, eh? We're coming for you. I had to get myself some fresh out of food because uh, after China, man, you need to eat, you need to eat or else it's not worth it. Your muscles will just go to shit or lack thereof. So I'm gonna eat some nice noodles and duck and then uh, back to the parish, you know what, laughing, laughing. Look at that for goodness. Look at that. Banging. Banging. Banging.